Hi, good evening. So welcome to Tai Chi tonight, um, Monday. So um, tonight we're, we've invited um, students from Mallow College to join us. I know some are here already, but uh, it's lovely to have hopefully some more people because of the way this is. Uh, we can't complete the term in the college. So you're very welcome. So I'll just explain to new people how this works. So we do, I'll do the warm ups first. So just join along with us and then we'll work on the mini form. And then I work on the short form and the last about 20 past 25 past eight, we do a little bit of sitting meditation just to wind everything down. Now, the short form will be a little bit beyond you, but don't worry. I mean, just copy and practice as best you can. It'll really, you know, move your Tai Chi on quite a bit if you practice along with us. And I do this session Monday night, Tuesday night and Thursday night. And um, you're welcome to come along every night. So I, there's a little bit more emphasis on the short form as the week goes on, but um, we're all finding our way with this, so we'll see how it goes. So the other thing is if um, there's a particular mini form lesson that you'd like me to do for you or explain to you, just email me and um, I'll be delighted, or text, and I'll be delighted to, to uh, go deeper in whatever lesson anybody wants to do. Okay, so tonight's mini form lesson will be, um, will be, uh, White Crane Spreads Wings. So uh, let's get started. And the short form lesson will be Ward Off Right. So let's um, get started. I think I need to move this down a bit. You won't see the feet. Okay. So we just start by having the feet shoulder width apart and taking a nice calming breath. So let's just take maybe one or two breaths. And just relax as you breathe out. You can also relax as you breathe in, of course. And again. Okay, great. So then we'll start with the warm ups. So let's have, and before we do the warm ups, just feel your, the presence of the whole body from the top of the head down through the face, down through the shoulders, down through the torso. And as you're coming down the torso, come down through your arms as well, right down to the fingertips. And then down along the legs, right into the soles of the feet and feel the ground that's under your feet. I can feel it's carpet under my feet. Notice what's under your feet. Just listen to the feeling of whatever is there under your feet. And just bring yourself completely here as best you can. Notice how it feels, maybe a little bit strange to be practicing online. We just welcome all that, you know, it's a new opportunity to grow in a different way. So, and then let's also connect to all of us who are practicing together. Just imagine all of us connected to each other practicing together, helping each other, growing each other, expanding. I really feeling over the last few weeks as we're doing this, that it's a great way to just expand our sense of being connected energetically. Be able to feel that energetic connection without having to touch or see people. Okay. So let's start by just sinking into the left foot and I'm gonna turn on the heel of the right and then sink into the right foot and turn left. So we sink and turn, sink and turn. So feel yourself pivoting on that heel, whichever heel now you're turning on. Just notice what that feels like. Just relax into it. I think I said we'd start with the warm ups, I can't remember. But anyway, we're starting with the warm up. Because even the warm ups, if you just get the warm ups, they'll help you. Go deeper in your Tai Chi and just go deeper into your own body.
Okay, great. Back to the center, letting ourselves relax again. So the next one, we're going to feel, sink your weight into your left leg and just pivot on the ball of the right and back to the center and pivot on the ball of the left. So relax into the left foot as you turn right. Relax into the right foot as we turn left. Just soft and easy. Relax. Bring yourself as much into each step as possible. Okay, great, and we're back to the center. Feeling again that sense of relaxation. We stop in the center. So the next one, let's do stepping like a cat. So I'm going to turn to the side for this one. So bring yourself into a tension posture with the heels together, and then sit down into the right foot and step forward and left with the left. So sinking into the front foot, step back, sink into the back foot. So forward on the heel and roll down to the ball. Back on the ball and roll down to the heel. Okay, so heels back together. So now we're going to sink into the left foot and step forward with the right. So rolling down from the heel to the ball and from the ball to the heel. So just relaxing into that as a front foot. Relaxing into it as a back foot. Soft and easy. Relaxed. And we'll bring the heels back together. Now again, take a second just to feel your body relax. Feel the whole way from the top of the head to the soles feet and just let go as best you can. Okay, so the next one we're going to do, feet in a tension posture again. And I'm going to face the camera for this. So step forward and left with your left foot and bring your tiger's mouth onto the left hip. Make a soft fist with the right. And then we just open this shoulder joint. Feeling the weight going down the left leg. Three forward, three back. Three more forward. Three more back. And last three forward. And last three back. And then relax the arm and just nice loose circles forward. 
and a loose circle the back. And then just let this arm hang down off, feel your weight still in that left leg so you can feel that this leg is working. And, it's, and you can feel this arm nice and loose and relaxed. So we step forward with the other, with the right foot. Tiger's mouth onto the right hip. And then nice, again, really feel this shoulder joint opening. Notice all the places that you can feel this stretch working. And the last two forward. And then nice loose one way and back the other way. Okay, great. Now notice that this leg is working. You can feel the thigh here working. Okay, great. So on this next one, I'm going to turn this way for this one again. So we're going to start off in a tension posture again. And step forward and right with the right foot. So bring the weight into the right foot. And then we're going to turn the waist to the left, into the left foot. And turn the waist back to the centre, into the front foot. So relaxing, turning left. Relaxing, turning right. Letting the arms just swing gently with the body. Relax. And relax. Okay, so now this time, let in bring the left hand in as we're going forward. So the palm sinks down as we go back and back up as we go forward. So into the back foot, turning left, into the front foot as we turn back to the centre. Turning to the left, turning to the centre. Softly into the back foot, softly into the front foot. So now let's include the right arm as well. So as we're turning to the left, the right arm comes up. Turn back to the centre, the left arm comes up. So soft and easy and relaxed. Okay, and into the front foot. So I know no, you're not going to see my feet, but I'm just going to move a little bit closer up for the other side so that if anybody isn't sure of the hands, you can see what they're doing. So heels back in a tension posture and then step forward with the left foot and bring the weight into the left foot. And then we're just turning the waist to the right as we go into the back foot and back to the center as you come into the front foot. So turning to the right, keeping the shoulders nice and level. Back to the center. Feeling like the front foot pushes your back and the back foot pushes forward. So the turn starts in the foot and comes right up through the body, to the shoulders. And the head just moves with the body, with the torso. And just feel your shoulders staying nice and level. Okay, so now we're going to bring the right arm in. So as you come forward, the right hand does a push. And as you come back, it almost feels like pull. So there's a feeling of push as you go, a gentle. Getting out the energy as you go forward, drawing it in as we go back.
peace now let's include the left arm so it's almost like you have almost a ball here between your hands so as we're turning to the left to the right sorry the left hand comes up and if you turn back to the center of the right hand soft easy and relaxed turning the waist shifting the weight Noticing how that feels in your body. Okay, great. So just let the hands come back down to the sides of the body. So then let's turn the palms out and we just open the spine a little more. And, you know, if you if you um, have any dizziness or anything like that, just watch while we're doing this. So you don't need to do all the exercises. Listen to your own body as well. So here we're going to sink down. Let the head hang as we go down. And we lean back and look at the ceiling. So just softly down. This time around, let's stop at the bottom. We we'll just hang for a minute. And just feel the weight of your head and your arms, just stretching your back, your legs. And the knees don't have to be straight. You can have the knees a little bit bent if you like. Okay, then we're going to come back up. Anti-clockwise, the palms touch. So let's make the circle smaller. Okay, you always kind of have to dress yourself after that one. So um, let's do a few waving hands now. I think everybody here knows these. So I'll stay close to the camera for this. So left, let's have the left hand at the heart and the right hand at the dentian. So we're going to turn to the left and sink the left hand down. And then turn to the right, sink your right hand down. So relax down into this leg, turn back, relax down here, relax, relax. Okay, mm, so you can feel that energy that we've been gathering and now let's bring that into the body and just do these little massages for the tummy. Imagine bringing that energy that we've been gathering just in, nourishing the tummy. Being grateful for all the tummy has done for us today. 
Then we're going to go the other way. Just feel that nice feeling in the tummy. And then let's massage the kidneys. I like doing it with the palms of the hands now because it's so warm. It just feels really warm on the kidneys. If you like, close your eyes for these so you can really feel that energy going into the kidneys. So that's 49 circles around your kidneys. Don't know why. Anyway, um, it's just nice. You know, you can feel that heat in the kidneys. They work so hard all day long. Nice to give back some energy to them. And then let's just, just take the glasses off this one. We're going to do these little ear clearing. And then we'll hammer. Feel the pans burning. And then we're just going to wash the face with that energy. Mm, feel it radiating in. It's just really nice energy and then on the head and then down on your body wherever you feel you'd like to send that knees so great ankles just generally mm, nice energy for the body and then let's just tap the thymus this is really good for us at the moment for working on the immune system Okay, great. And then the other thing to work on at the moment as well, which is really good, is if you can generate a yawn. I'm really going to, because sometimes I can generate them easier than others. I probably they probably start now once I stop this. But anyway. If you kind of wiggle your throat. You get a yawn going, and it's really there are endless benefits to the brain for yawning. And just even talking about it sometimes gets me going. So, you know, if you find yourself yawning later, just really welcome it, open to it, stretch like the dogs and the cats do when you get the yawn, and then they get big and go, ah, as you let it out. Really fabulous benefits to doing that. Okay, so let's just do, um, we just do the last few kicks. So we're going to sink into the right foot and bring the left foot out on the ball. And then it's like you're pawing the ground. So we're kicking with the, I'm kicking with the left foot now. And it's a toe kick, so it's like a toe kick. And it comes out of this leg. Good for working on your sense of balance as well. So weight into the left and we're going to kick with the right. Great. So now we're going to sink into the right foot again, and this time we're going to kick with the heel. So just slide your heel along the ground and then kick. Great. And then we do the same with the right foot. So sink in the left.
Excellent. I just shake out the leg, one leg, shake out the other leg. And I'll get a bit wider than shoulder width. I'm going to shake out the arms. Just letting the energy run back down the arms, relaxing everything. I can feel little yawns trying to come. <laughs> mm, okay. Ah. Feedback. Okay, so there are warm ups. So just stand for a second now after the warm ups. Notice how your body is feeling. How do you feel now? You might find some tingling in your fingers, numbness. Look for the signs of the aliveness in your body. So let's do, we'll do um, a mini form. So I'll face this way for the first one and then I'll turn my back and we'll do, let's do two and then we'll work on the posture. So we're going to sink down into the feet and let the arms float up the front and float down. So then turn to the left and back into the right as you make the ball. Step onto the heel of the left and bring the left hand to the heart as the right hand sinks down. Turn the waist to the right, turn back to the left, and as the left hand sinks down, the right hand comes to the heart, turn right again and back to the center, and then sink the right hand down the front of the body. Pick up the left foot and step left, brush past the left knee and sink forward, turn left, sink into the right foot as we turn right, and back to the center to play guitar, and then open the body up again. Fold your left hand over as you step left and sink forward. Sit back, turning on the heel of the left. Make a fist with the right hand and step forward to the corner. Sink into the right. Step with the left and punch with the right. Turn left. Turn right and sink forward. And we're going to turn on the heel of the left back to the front. Sit into the left foot. Step out with the right and let the hands softly float back down to the sides of the body. Now, some people prefer with me facing the camera and some from behind. So I'm going to do it from behind now and just stand again for a minute. Feel the feet on the ground. And feel that nice sense of alignment all the way up through the body, up to the top of the head. Allow your shoulders to relax. Your hands just softly touch the sides of the body. The legs to be straight but not locked. And then as we sit down, the hands come out onto cushions of air and the knees bend. Relax the wrists and allow the arms to softly float up the front and float down. Now we transfer the weight into the left foot and back into the right as you make the ball. Step left onto the heel of the left foot and bring the left hand to the heart as the right hand sinks down. Turn the waist to the right. Turn the waist to the left and bring the right hand up to the heart. Turn right again and back to the front. And then softly, the right hand sinks down the front. Pick up the left foot and step onto the heel. Sink forward, brush, knee and push. Turn right as you pick up your left foot and back to the centre to play guitar. And then open the body up again. Fold the left hand over, brush past the knee and sink forward. Sit back, turning on the heel of the left. Make a fist with the right hand and step forward to the corner with the right foot. Sink into it as the fist comes to the hip. Step forward with the left and punch with the right. Turn the waist to the left. Turn to the right as the hands make a circle. Sink forward to push. And then we're going to bring the left foot round on the heel, opening the arms out and sink into the left as the hands cross. Step out with the right and let the hands softly float back down to the sides of the body. Hmm. So now we'll work on white crane spreads wings posture. So I'm going to do it facing this way first. So we we'll go from the beginning. So we sink into the right. Let the arms softly float up and down. Then I'm going to turn left and back into the right foot making the ball. Step onto the heel of the left and bring the left hand to the heart as the right hand sinks down. 
Now your weight's in your left foot and you've got a ward off with the left hand. So we're going to turn the waist to the right as you bring the weight into the right foot. Then keep the weight in the right foot as you turn the waist to the left and the two hands move with the body. And then the left hand sinks down as the right hand comes up to the heart. And keep the right hand in front of the heart as we turn right, sliding the left foot back and turn to the front. Right palm facing out and the left palm is facing back. So I'll do that so I'll get a bit closer to the camera. So you can hopefully see more of it. So we start off with the left hand in front of the heart. So if I face this way, maybe you'll see what I'm doing with the hands. So left hand's in front of the heart. So I'm turning the waist to the right, keeping the left hand in front of the heart, turning the waist back to the left, letting the right hand come up in front of the belly. And then as the right left hand sinks down, the right hand comes up to the heart, turning the waist back to the right, and then back to the front, white crane spread wings. So I'll do it three times facing this way and three times facing the other way. So your left foot, you're on the left foot and it's a little bit, see it's in front of the right foot. We're in both stands. So I'll come back here for the hands. Once you have the feet correctly in the position, feel your weight in your left foot. Left hand in front of the heart and the right hand sitting on a cushion over here, here at the side of the body. So we turn the waist to the right, keeping the right hand and left hand in front of the heart. Turn the waist back to the left. And then the left hand turns down and as it sinks down, the right hand comes up in front of your heart. And then we're turning to the right, sliding the left foot in a little and turning back to the front. So when you finish all the weights in the right foot, so this foot, should, you should be able to pick this foot up without, you shouldn't have to do this to pick it up. Yeah. Okay, great. So let's do that again. So for everybody, even for people who know this really well now, it's just, it'll, you can sink into your legs and it'll work your legs. So it's a good practice. So weight on the left, feel the weight on the left leg, mostly 70% in the left leg, and your right leg is about 30% of your weight. So we're going to transfer the weight into the right leg as we turn right. And then keep the weight on the right leg as you turn back to the left. And the left hand palm turns over as it sinks down, the right hand comes up in front of your heart. And then keep the right hand at your heart as you turn right. Slide the left foot back a little towards the right and the right palm turns to the front. Okay, so two more. Weight on the left. So feel that left leg working. Tuck the tummy under, so you've got a nice straight line down the back. And we turn the waist to the right. Stay in the right foot as we turn the waist back to the left. The left palm sinks down as the right hand comes to the heart. Keep the weight in the right as you're turning to the right, right hand in front of the heart back to the front, white print thread things. Then pick up your left leg, checking that all the weight is in the right. The left leg is just for balance. So I'll do it facing this way now. So you have your weight in your left leg. So keep the weight in the left leg first, and then as you turn to the right, bring the weight into the right leg. Turn the waist back to the left. And turn the left palm over, and as it sinks down, the right hand comes to the heart. Turn the waist to the right, sliding the left foot back a little, and turn to the front. Okay, so we do two more. Weight on the left. Tommy tucked in, nice straight line down the back. Turn the waist to the right. Turn the waist to the left, and let the left hand sink down, bring the right hand to the heart. Keep the right hand at the heart as you turn right, sliding the left foot back and back to the front. Okay, and one last one. Weight in the left. So you transfer the weight into the right foot, turning to the right. Turn the waist to the left. And then let the left palm sink down as the right hand comes to the heart. Keep the right hand at the heart as you turn right and back to the front. Mm. Okay, so we do a full mini form now. And what I'll do is, you know, tomorrow night I'll do the next lesson in the mini form. And Thursday I'll do the next one. And then if you're just doing the Monday nights, I'll come back to Rush Lefney and Push next Monday. We'll keep going until we get to the end of the mini form. That's the plan for now anyway. So let's do one mini form together and then we'll start working on the short form. And uh, you can just copy us, you know, just enjoy it as best you can. So, feet parallel. 
So best, no, don't bother trying to look at this. Just listen to the instructions and just stick with us. So feet parallel, shoulder width. Sit down and let the hands come out to rest on cushions of air. Allow the arms to softly float up and softly down. Transfer the weight into the left foot and back into the right, making the ball. Step onto the heel of the left and bring the left hand to your heart as your right hand sinks down. Turn the waist to the right. Turn to the left. And as the left hand sinks down, the right hand comes to the heart, turn right again and back to the front. And then we turn left and let the right hand sink down the front of the body. Pick up the left foot and step left. Brush past the knee. Bring the weight into the left foot as you turn left. Into the right foot as we turn right. And back to the centre, keeping the weight in the right foot. Turn right and open up again. Fold the left hand over. Brush past the knee and sink forward. Sit back, turning on the heel of the left. Make a fist with the right hand. Step to the corner. Sink into the right as the fist comes to the hip. Step forward with the left and punch. Turn left, turn right, and sink forward. And then turn on the heel of the left. Sink into the left foot as the hands cross. Step out with the right and let the hands softly float back down to the sides of the body. Okay, so now we do a short form to crossing hands. So if you've been doing the mini form in the classes, you recognize the postures once we get into the mini form part. So just watch first and enjoy. And then we do a lesson and you can just stick with us as we do the lesson because you'll be learning some Tai Chi. So we start this time in a tension posture, heels together. So we sink into the right foot, step out shoulder width, sink into the left and bring the right foot round on the heel. Relax the wrists. Let the arms float up the front, weight in the left, and back down. So we're going to turn on the heel of the right foot and make a ball with the right hand on top. Sink into the right foot and step forward and left with the left. Bring the left hand to the heart as the right hand sinks down and the foot comes round. Ward off left. Turn on the ball of the right foot. Step forward and right for ward off right. And then roll back into the back foot. Press into the front, yield into the back, back into the front. And then bring the right foot round on the heel. Send out the hook. Step out with the left and turn the palm over. Sink into the left foot. Pick up the right foot and bring it down on the heel. Turn the waist to the left. Step back with the right and now we're into white crane. Spreads wings like we did for the mini form. And this brush left knee and push. Play guitar, brush left knee and push, sit back turning left, make a fist with the right, sink into the right and step forward with the left and punch with the right, turn left, turn right and sink forward. So we're going to turn on the heel of the left and sink into the left as the hands cross and on the last week we did the first lesson after crossing hands. So I'm going to include that Embrace Tiger Return to the Mountain. I will add the roll back tomorrow night. Okay, so um, let's do the beginning of that short form. So heels together and we sink into the right foot. Step out with the left. Transfer the weight into the left foot, bringing... Then bring the right foot round on the heel as the shoulder blades open. And as we pull the shoulders back, the hands come to rest on cushions of air. Turn the waist to the left. Turn on the heel of the left foot and make a ball. And then bring the right foot in and step forward and left, sorry, left foot in toward off left. So now your left foot is looking straight ahead and the right foot is looking to the corner. And we're going to keep the weight in the left foot as you turn on the ball of the right foot and make a ball between the hands. So that what that looks like, I know this is really difficult. Ward off right is hard enough, but um, <laughs> so for what's happening in that right, is I'm in ward off left. So what you're doing is have your weight in your left leg. 
So you keep the weight in the left leg and just let the right foot turn on the ball. So because I'm facing the other way, I'm just turning this way so that you can hopefully see. So the weight's on the left. So I'm turning on the ball at the right. So what happens as you're doing that is as you're turning, you're making a ball between these two hands. So the left hand, as you turn, the left hand just turns over and the right hand turns under to make a ball. So now ward off right is quite tricky. So I think we'll just do this part tonight and I'll add the second part tomorrow night. So when I'm facing this way, left, I'm in ward off left, left hand at the heart, weight in the left foot and just pick up the front of the right foot and as you're turning it on the ball, your right palm is turning under. So you get the feeling that the turning on the ball of this foot turns this hand under. And at the same time, the left palm turns over. So you end up with a ball between the hands. So from ward off left, if I'm facing this way, ward off left is here. So as you're turning the right foot, you're turning the hand. That's a yield. It's like this whole side of your body yields. Get a feeling somebody's pushing you here and you're just yielding to that push. The palm turns up. And as that's happening, the left palm turns. You've got this ball between the two hands. So let's do the short form to there three times. And then I'll add the next part of that tomorrow night. So heels together. So we sink down into the right foot. Step out with the left. Transfer the weight into your left leg and keep it in the left leg as you bring your right foot round on the heel and the shoulder blades open. Pull the shoulders back and the hands come to rest on cushions of air, weight still in the left leg. Relax the wrists. Let the arms float up in front of the body and back down. Now the weight's in the left and we do a little turn to the left and then turn on the heel of the right and make a ball between the hands. Bring the left foot in by your ankle and step forward and left onto the heel and bring the left hand up to ward off and the right hand sinks down as the right foot comes round. Now keep the weight in the left and turn on the ball of the right, making a ball between your hands. The beginning of ward off right. Okay, so let's do that two more times. Heels together. Sink your weight into your right foot. Step out with the left. Sink the weight into the left foot and bring the right foot round on the heel. Relax. Allow the arms to float up and float down. And then we're going to turn on the heel of the right foot and make the ball. Bring the left foot in by the ankle and step forward and left into ward off left. Sink the right hand down as the right foot comes round on the heel. Keep the weight in the left foot turning on the ball of the right. And then step forward and right with the right. Now I'm going to continue on now. So the right hand comes up to the heart and the left fingers point in. And then we keep going. Press, yield and push. And let's just do a full short form. If you've never seen this before, just relax and watch it. Sink into the left, pick up the right. Turn left. Step back with the right and yield with the left. Heel with the right, white crane spread swings softly. Right hand sinks down. Brush past your left knee and sink forward left. Right. Play guitar. Open up again. Brush past the left knee and sink forward. Sit back, turning on the heel of the left. Make a fist with the right hand. Sink into the right foot and step forward with the left and punch with the right. Turn left. Right, push forward. And then we're going to turn on the heel of the left, sink into the left foot as the hands cross, step out, and then stay in the left foot as the left hand comes down and back up to double ward off. Step to the corner with the right and pull with the right, push with the left. Roll back. Press. Yield. And push. Then bring the right foot round, send out the hook, step to the corner of the left and sink into the left. I'm going to move down here, sit back and step to the corner with the right and sink the right hand down. Two hands come down and then you pick up the left foot, punch below the elbow, turn right and open up. 
back to the center. Step back with the left, push with the right. Turn left and open up. Step back with the right, sink into the right as we push with the left. Turn right and open up. Step back with the left, push with the right. We'll pulse the monkeys, turn left. Make a ball, bring it round with you into your right foot and sit back into the left and step around with the right foot diagonal fly. Sink into the right foot as the left foot steps up. Turn left and bring the right foot parallel. Sink into the left, step together. Sink into the right, step apart. Sink into the left, step together. Sink into the right, step apart. And then draw the right hand up the center line. Step forward with the right, turn on the ball of the left. And then bring your right foot round. Sit into the right foot for squatting single pick. Turn the left foot out. Sink into the left as we pick up the right foot. Step back with the right and pick up the left. And then turn the waist to the left. Sink into your left as you cross hands, fan out and kick. Turn left and step back with the right. To cross hands, fan out and kick. And then fold the left hand over. Brush past the left knee. Sink forward, push. Turn left, turn right. To needles at sea bottom. And then straighten up, sitting into the right. Step with the left for iron fan. Turn on the heel of the left foot. Sink into the left as the right hand sinks down. And strike with the right. Bring the fist to the hip. Roll back. And split. And then pick up the right foot. Step with the left and punch with the right. Sit back into the right foot and turn on the heel of the left. Sink into the left and kick with the right heel to the corner. Fold the right hand over and step forward with the right foot, bro um, brush right knee and push. Turn on the heel of the right and step forward with the left for brush left knee and punch down. Turn on the heel of the left, I'm just adjusting here. Step forward with the right, roll back. Press, yield and push. And then bring the right foot round. Step out with the left and bring the back foot round. So fair ladies. Sink in the left. Step to the corner with the left, roll up and push. Turn on the heel of the left foot. Sit back into it and make a ward off with the right. Step around with the right, roll up and push. Sink into the left and step straight forward with the right. Roll the left hand up and push. Turn on the heel of the left foot. Sink back into it as you make ward off with the right. Step to the corner with the right and roll up and push. And then turn on the heel of the right foot. Press the left hand to the dante end. And step forward and left for ward off left. Turn on the ball of the right foot. Step forward and right for ward off right. Roll back. Press. Yield. And push. And then bring the right foot round on the heel. Send out the hook. Step out with the left and turn the palm over as the back foot comes round. And then extend your left hand forward, pull into the right foot, sit down squatting single foot and make a fist at the left shoulder. Drop the hook and cross the fist. Step back with the right, sweep with the left, slap with the right. Take the left foot out to the side and spin round. Sink into the left. Sweep with the right. Make two fists and turn left, right, hammer, and split. Then pick up your right foot, step with the left and punch with the right. Turn left, right, and sink forward. Then we turn on the heel, sink into the left foot as the hands cross, step out with the right, turn the right foot out. And bring the feet back together. And then just notice how you feel at the end. So now, if you're in the mini form class in Mallow College, you've never seen that before. So it's a bit 
long to begin with, but just, you know, if you just listen and watch, you'll begin to know the names of the postures and it'll help you make sense of it. So um, I'll just go back over the two lessons that we did tonight. So the first lesson was the mini form lesson, white crane spreads wings. So for white crane spreads wings, we have start off with your feet in a tension posture and step forward and left with your left foot. So I'm going to do it facing this way first. The left hand in front of the heart and the right hand's on a cushion of air. So face this way, actually, you might see it. So we turn the waist to the right, bringing the weight into the back foot. Turn the waist back to the left. And as the left hand sinks down, the right hand comes to the heart. And then keep the right hand at your heart as you turn right, sliding the left foot back and turn to the front. Okay, so now I'll face it, do it facing this way. So weight in the left. So we turn the waist to the right. Turn the waist back to the left. And as the left hand sinks down, the right hand comes to the heart. Turn right again and back to the front. And finish with your weight all in the back foot so you can pick up this left leg. And one last one, I'm probably confusing you facing all these different directions, but anyway, we'll see. So um, weight in the left. Turn the waist to the right. Turn the waist to the left, keeping the weight in the right leg. Bring the right hand up in front of your heart. Turn right and back to the front. White crane spread wings. And then the ward off right for the short form is we're here with the left foot looking to the corner, right foot looking straight ahead, and the left hand in front of the heart. So all we're going to do is just keep the weight in the left foot as you turn on the ball of the right foot. And the feeling is that this right side of the body is yielding. So the right palm turns as you turn on the ball of the foot and the left palm turns down. So I do that facing this way, right? So a weight in the left foot. Ward off left is weight in the left foot and the left hand in front of the heart. So if you were to do it without the hands, you would just keep the weight in the left foot and just let the right foot turn. So it's looking straight down. So it's looking to the corner to begin with and then, then bring your right hand. Your right hand's on a cushion of air here. So all you're going to do is let the right hand turn under. So it's a feeling that somebody's pushing here and you'll yield. And as that's happening, the left palm turns over. Now, all those lessons are in my YouTube channel. If you scroll down, you'll find lots of lessons from the short form and the mini form. Okay, so let's sit for the last few minutes. I think we've worked... It's a little bit tricky doing it online because you, you have no feedback. <laughs> Instant. I realise the pleasure of teaching in a class situation where you can keep an eye on people. But anyway, hopefully this um, keeps you tuned in a little bit to Tai Chi anyway and that you can enjoy the session. So now sit down, relax yourself down, and let's just focus on what it feels now to feel your feet on the ground. Notice how they feel on the ground right now. How the ground feels under the feet. Just notice. And as we're beginning, let's again just connect out to all of us sharing this practice together. So get a sense of being connected to the person on your right. Imagine there's somebody sitting in this circle with you on your right hand side and somebody sitting in the circle on your left hand side. And just imagine connecting to them energetically. Feeling like we're one group practicing together, relaxing together, softening together. And with that in mind, let's just again sink down, feeling the feet on the ground, feeling up along the legs to the knees, from the knees to the thighs. Notice how your thighs feel sitting on the seat, the under surface, and the upper. If your hands are resting like on your thighs, palm up or palm down, it doesn't matter. Just notice what they feel like. How do your hands feel resting there? How do the thighs feel, the hands resting in them? How do your buttocks feel? 
Feel all around the torso. Just notice how it's feeling. How's your tummy feeling? How's the chest feeling? Imagine feeling into your heart. And just noticing how the heart is feeling tonight. The heart is an amazing place to transform energy. So let's just take a few breaths into the heart. And out from the heart. Into the heart. And out from the heart. And get a sense of breathing gratitude into your heart. And out from the heart. And breathe that sense of connection into the heart. And out from the heart. Just feeling the heart. That incredible center that radiates out a field that's so much stronger than any other part of the body. And now let's feel our shoulders down along the arms, fingertips. Notice how the hands feel. How do your fingers feel tonight? How do the thumbs feel? Can you feel where the palms, the hands are resting? Let yourself relax as best you can. And then feel all the way up along the arms, up to the shoulders. Let the shoulders relax. See if there's any more letting go you can do on the shoulders. Let the neck relax. Allow the face and the cheeks and the jaw to relax. Even imagine the scalp, all the hair follicles relaxing. Forehead relaxing. Just let go as best you can. So this relaxation is just a great way to boost your immune system. Letting yourself know it's okay to be in this body. And now let's connect to the space around the body, up to the ceiling, down to the floor. Feel to the space in front and behind and at the sides of your body. Just feel yourself in this space. Let yourself relax into this space. Notice what the space feels like to you. And then just imagine feeling the space all the way to infinity. In front and behind. Above and below at the sides of the body, through the walls, through the atmosphere, all the way to infinity on all sides of the body. Imagine yourself in this vast, vast eternal space. Nothing to do right now, just notice feeling of being present in this eternal space. Notice all the time that's gone before. You can imagine all the time to come. And then just relax into this presence of now. And now. And now. And now, and as best you can, just allow yourself to be 
and B. And B. For this moment, as best you can, let go of wanting to change or fix anything. Just give things permission to be as they are, just for now. And just notice what that feels like to just give yourself, the world and everything, just permission to just be for just this moment. We stop trying to change or fix anything. Just allow ourselves to be and be. And be. And then bring your attention back out. If your eyes are closed, open the eyes and tune back into this outside world. And notice when you open your eyes, you can still stay nice and relaxed. As best you can, just practice this letting go and allowing things to be as often as you can during the day. Just let it be, like the Beatles said. If I could sing, if I had more confidence about singing, I'd sing it. But anyway, thanks for being here. Lovely to share the practice. And I can just imagine all of us, let's imagine giving all of us a group hug like I loved at the end of the class. Feel like you're rubbing one person on their back and the other person here on the back and just feel that sense of us all being connected in this big group hug. Let yourself fill with that group energy all the goodness and well-being that we're sharing with each other. And smile. Let's be happy just for now. Namaste. So I'll see you all tomorrow night and have a wonderful evening. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.